Let's apply what we know about the division of powers to scientific notation. If I have, in general, a times 10 to the m divided by another scientific notation number, b times 10 to the n, I can group my values or my factors a, b times 10 to the times 10 to the m divided by 10 to the n. a divided by b times when I divide powers, I subtract their exponents. I have a divided by b times 10 to the m minus n. Let's apply that to some numbers. For example, if I have 3 times or 3.3 .3 times 10 to the 7 divided by 1.1 times 10 to the 2, I can group my 3 to 3.3 divided by 1.1, so I have 3.3 .3 divided by 1.1, all times 10 to the seventh divided by 10 squared. 3.3 divided by 1.1 times 10 when I divide powers, I subtract their exponents, so 10 to the 7 minus 2. I get 3.3 .3 divided by 1.1 is going to be equal to 3.0 times 10 to the 7 minus 2, which is 5. Our next example, 7.2 times 10 to the 5th divided by 9.0 times 10 to the 3rd. Again, I group my numbers. My 7.2 divided by 9.0 and I'm going to multiply that by 10 raised to the fifth power divided by 10 to the third power. I end up with 7.2 divided by 9.0 times 10 to the fifth divided by 10 to the third. Again, I have like bases, the division of like base powers. I subtract my exponents. I have 10, 5, minus 3. So I end up with 7.2 divided by 9 is going to be 0.8 times 10 to the 5 minus 3, which is going to be 2. Now, for scientific notation, I want my decimal place to the right of my number, so I'm going to have 8.0 times 10. Since I move 1 in this direction, I'm going to subtract 1, so I'm going to have 10 to the 1. Our last example, 3.6 times 10 to the 2 divided by 1.2 times 10 to the 5th. Again, group like numbers. So I have 3.6 divided by 1.2 times 10 squared divided by 10 to the 5th. 3.6 divided by 1.2 is going to be 3.0 times 10 to the 2 divided by 10 to the 5th, I subtract my exponent, so 2 minus 5. I end up with 3.0 times 10 to the negative 3.